rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. And just, just for the record, none of you, none of you guys have been propositioned in that way. Before. Proposition. 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 In what way? For well, she said no. Yeah. yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't experienced that with no music execs or anybody I'm definitely like that. Experienced or were there any relationships you? that you for had sure. that led to opportunities? Oh, like oh, me be, being with someone and then yeah. Hmm. Every time you smile, like, I feel like that's the an answer. That right was a there. smile? Yes, oh, you went. You went. No, she yeah, she that thought, did work she had out. Deep thoughts. Don't, don't, don't. I mean, I have, I, have, I have been with guys that have gave me opportunities. Like, what's, what are you, that what you're asking? That's not right. Are you asking what, what opportunities? Like, what are you saying? I'm asking, okay, what was the situation like? Were you with those guys for, for the opportunity? Opportunity, or did you receive the it? opportunity? As a, well, I was with a guy, like and, and, yeah, I was with a guy that I just genuinely liked. Yeah, never asked him for nothing. We were we were dating and stuff, uh -huh. and he has blessed me with opportunities that you know, like to help my career. But that's did you a ever relationship. feel pressure? That's what it's supposed to. Did be. I feel pressure? Did you ever feel pressure to keep the relationship going, even though you didn't want to, because of the opportunities? <clears throat> no. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these guys I was fucking with ain't had no motherfucking opportunities for real. <laughs> like I can't even act like I, cause like y'all must think something else. Like I ain't, I haven't had the like I. Uh, no. Well, no. we hear we hear the stories. I ain't really talking about the music business anyway. Like, okay, so you're yeah. not even okay. That's yeah. That I'll makes be like a the street niggas for real. I ain't even really talked to nobody in the music business. I'll be like a street niggas. Is that a is that a okay sure. What? I like niggas to where I'm from. Like, you know, they I ain't, I ain't talking to nobody in the music industry. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas in the music industry fuck niggas. Do I want to fuck somebody that fuck niggas? Can I get a No. Nope. You want to run some more? Splash, you know? Yo, she <laughs> let her cook. <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't. You know? Who you right talking now, about? Right? No, but you Who said you talking about? I'm saying, industry, like, no, 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 I'm just, I'm speaking in general. Like, you oh, know, I'm in a oh. business, so I know that a lot of people behind so you, the scenes You see are, this? Everybody's gay. Everybody's gay. Oh, God. Jesus Everybody? Christ. A lot of people, I mean, I'm a lady. I get my hair, makeup, nails, like, get styled, video, everything. A lot of people are gay behind the scenes. Thank no you. shade, but I be gay sometimes, too. So it's like, I would never judge nobody. <laughs> I be gay but sometimes, too. Y'all gay is high. It's like, it's like, okay, No, it's not fair to say that. It's definitely a double standard All right, I don't want to talk well, about that. Well, for guys, for guys, we don't mind that shit. Right? We don't. For us to be gay. Yeah, we don't. Right, mind. or gay activities. Mm. We don't mind. You don't want to talk yeah, about that. Yeah, don't give a fuck. You don't want to talk about what's For, for <laughs> fellas, it's like. You can be gay adjacent. Gay adjacent. Yeah. It's, it's, Who's it's, Jason? <laughs> Girl, you are a comedian. No, no, adjacent is gay, a word. Adjacent. Adjacent. Is, oh, adjacent. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Like, um, she okay. said Jason's gay. See, see, what, like, Who's see Jason? what you just did there <laughs> makes me feel like, okay, what, what's um, Homegirl? You did the interview with, and she called you a musician. Oh, and you Bobby. Was like, yeah. She said that I was a musician, and I said, no, I'm not. Was I don't that do real? No magic. I just be having fun with my girl. I don't know, no, no, dead ass. Because I was like, I. Thank God. You thought it was right. real. No, I hoped it was. I was gonna ask you that too. I'm just, I'm just, I, I was no having way. fun. Like Ain't I'm no having way. fun with my girl. Thank right. God. Like, come on, musician. Like, what? I don't do magic. And like, I feel like what get you. I'm having fun. We actually mm -hmm. we we vibing. We taking shots and we just know we're about to get on camera, have a good time. She she's funny. I'm funny. I'm actually she about to actually bring me out on stage in L. A. on the thirtieth, uh, and that would be my first time like being in a. Um, more comedic uh, stage wow. where I get to show who I am and stuff, but I was just having fun with her. You doing stand up? Yeah, she that's why I told you I want to start my. But this is like this is gonna be like this a, is like a my set. pre getting on that stage and just showing my comedy with time? um funny Marco. I don't know the details. She just texted me, so I don't know yet. But I'm excited. Like, you know, I, I want, want in on that, yo. Yeah, I want to throw my first. I want to throw like my first stand up event. Like I would be happy about that. I, I, I'm down. Whenever you do it. Yep. Yeah, I want I want a I want a good ten minute set. Mm -hmm. What made you want to get into that? Comedy? I always wanted to be a com comedian, like since I was a little girl. I love music and I love com comedy, but I just always been real funny, you know. So, mm -hmm. are I you do are you in the circuit? Like, are you doing the little clubs to kind of get your set together? Um, no, nah. She's <laughs> her comedy and her music. She's she a natural, man. Mm -hmm. She's natural. No, but, uh, well, you didn't, you didn't breathe. You didn't read none of that? Before? Pull up the phone again. Let's get some more bars, baby. Y'all don't see it. It's in her music. No, I, I <laughs> read off some more, man. I listened to what Tony Rock said when he came What's in Tony here. Rock said? What Tony, yeah. Tony Rock sat in that chair and uh -huh. talked about the idea that people believe they can do stand-up, 
oh, yes. without actually doing the work that it takes to do like the crowd work. Yeah, he, I understand he, that though. He I talked about like too. a lot of people who had like a lot of internet fame and they were funny online and they're funny in this place and mm -hmm. that place. But when it was time to get on stage, they it hit yourself. different. I which agree. is why I'm yeah. saying like I'm at, I'm only asking because I feel like the same way you prep yourself to be yeah. an MC and prep yourself to be a rapper and learn how to count bars. You got to do the same thing with stand up. If people the don't there. know, like I, I I I very much agree with what you're saying because there's a big disconnection from stand up comedy and people that do skits and the mm -hmm. in the uh social Instagram media. social media comedy. It's mm -hmm. two different things and I, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people that were grew up in stand up don't put respect on social media comedians. I know that. Right. But um I feel like, you know, I got a lot of comedic friends and guess what they mm -hmm. said they would help me write my 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 Comedy. Oh, there you, you go. Know? They okay. would have me. So we were going to sing. So you're being group. tutored. You have real. Yeah, I got tutors. Right. I have real. Like, comedians who will yeah, like me. Big comedians that believe in me and understand my comedy. That's what's up. And okay. one time Lil Duval pulled me to the side. He said, I understand your comedy. I understand you. You got to get away from that nigga shit. That's what he told me. That nigga shit. Yeah, what's the, the nigga, nigga shit? shit. Yeah, this the hood shit that I used to do, like some hood ghetto shit. This being ghetto. Shit, I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> nigga shit. What is nigga shit? You tell well, me. What is nigga shit? What's nigga shit? Ghetto <laughs> shit. Why don't you look to me? Ask him. Well, I don't know what nigga, nigga shit is. Shit. But I do, I'm not going to lie. I do practice when I am um, when I have my uh, concerts and shows. Yeah. I always incorporate my um, comedy with my music. Like, I'll talk to them. You know, I'll tell them jokes. I practice my crowd control, which I really am good at that. You know, I don't know if you guys see my role in my performance or any of my performances, but I do know how to control my crowd. You know, oh, I go off of them. And if I feel like y'all a little bit too quiet over there, I just feel like my people skills, I know to say, well, who got good pussy? Because obviously y'all don't got it. So y'all, oh, okay. So then y'all got it. Okay, let's go. Y'all got good pussy stand on that shit. You feel me? And I just talk to them. I get them prepared. And then I hit them with my music. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm not scared. I want to practice and I want to follow the book. Mm -hmm. Good for you. I believe in That's myself. Right. Good for you. This will be fine. You want to take the break? Yeah, we're gonna take a five minute break. This hot fuck, trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.